God said. You are vaster than the universe. The universe is included within you. Everything is included within you. I am included within you. How vast can you be? And what can you possibly be lacking? You have perpetrated a hoax on yourself. You try to make yourself a mighty mouse. You who are far mightier than a giant would like to dance around as mighty mouse. If that isn't a hoax you've perpetrated on yourself, what is? Deep within you is all the power of the universe, all the power of heaven, and all the power assigned to me, God. Meanwhile, you belie yourself. You huff and puff around building your muscles at the gym and you cover your neck and arms with gems, when you are a shining light greater than the sun that lights the world. Of course, you would consider yourself lucky to shine one ray of the sun, and so you putter around looking to put light on your existence when you are the light. I do not say cavalierly that you are the light of the world. Light of the world is actually a drop in the bucket compared to the fullness of light that you are. Meanwhile, seeing yourself as Mighty Mouse or Superman doesn't even hit the mark. You are so much greater than you seem to think you are. You are a car with great horsepower, and you go around the block at 10 miles an hour. You are a huge fancy car disguised as a golf cart. You are a powerful engine of the universe and more than that, much more than that, far more than that. Now, if you please, hold your head up high, your shoulders back, and get to know who you are. Beloveds, you have bypassed yourself. This heaven letter is not to make you high and mighty. It is to get you to be more accurate in your estimation of yourself and the others around you who also fall short in your estimation. That's how it works. How you see yourself is how you see others. You see yourself as limited, and that's what you notice in everyone else. You who reflect me, shine tiny LED flashlights on each other, and so you take a dim view of just about everything and everyone. Of course, a new baby brightens your eyesight for a while. Of course, we are not really talking about eyesight. We can call the sight I speak of as a sense. We could call it a God sense. Let's open up your God sense which is the same as to say your self sense. Good, come to your sense of God self now. The power and the glory are not somewhere outside you. They are within you. All the power and beauty and wonderment lie within you. Why hidden, beloveds? Why hidden from view and why hidden from you? You are my creation, and you see yourself as a bumbler. You, who house the God of infinity and eternity, scurry around, trying to gather a few crumbs from the surface of life. You are little Jack Horner who sat in the corner eating a piece of pie, and you pull out your thumb and say, what a good boy am I? Or, we could say you are like oxen pulling a heavy cart you are yoked to, your eyes on the ground beneath your feet, looking neither left nor right not above, your head down. No wonder you would be glad to become a mighty mouse. Never mind now, just become the son of God for so are you designated. Look up and begin to see yourself in the light of my eyes. So be it.